In this video, I will consider one numerical on loop analysis. Find loop currents I1, I2, I3 in the circuit shown below. So here, this is the given circuit I1, I2, I3 directions are shown. We need to calculate these three loop currents using loop analysis method. So from this circuit, we can observe that in loop I1, already there is a current source. So we can say that current I1 is equal to 10 amp. Now we can observe that here there is a current source of magnitude 1 over 8 Vx which is between two loops. So I can represent 1 over 8 Vx will be equal to I3 minus I1. I3 minus I1. Here I have taken I3 minus I1 because I3 and this directions are same. So we should write I3 first. Let me simplify this. Now I can write, I will call it as equation 1. Here Vx is nothing but voltage across 3 ohm register. So I can write Vx is equal to 3 into I3 minus I2. Or I can write Vx equal to 3I3 minus 3I2. Or I can simplify the equation 1 as that is 1 over 8, we have Vx that is 3i3 minus 3i2 will be equal to i3 minus i1 or I can write 3 by 8 i3 minus 3 by 8 i2 will be equal to i3 minus 10 because i1 is equal to Let's write this as 3 by 8 I3 minus, I will take this I3 on this side, I3 minus 3 by 8 I2 is equal to minus 10. Let me simplify this. Right. 3 by 8, we have minus 1. So this, its value will be minus 0 0.625 I3, that is minus 0.625 I3 minus 3 by 8. 3 by 8, it gives 0 0.375. That is 0 0.375 I2 is equal to minus 10. Or I can write, in order I can write it as minus 0 0.375 I2 minus 0 0.625 I3 is equal to minus 10. Let me call it as equation number 2. So now I1 and I3 loops are considered. Now we have to consider loop I2. Now let me apply KVL to loop I2. That is apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to loop I2. So I can write Voltage across 5 ohm register is phi into I2 minus I1, phi into I2 minus I1 plus 4 I2 plus 4 I2 plus we have 3 I2 minus I3 plus 3 I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. Let me simplify that is phi I2 minus phi i1, i1 is already 10 plus 4 i2 plus 3 i2 minus 3 i3 equal to 0 or I can write phi i2 plus 4 i2 plus 3 i2 that is 5, 4, 9, 9, 3, 12 that is 12 i2 and we have only one i3 that is minus 3 i3 so here 10 into 5 is 50 minus 50 I will take on other side it will become plus 50. Let me call it as equation 3. So now by solving equation 2 and 3 we can get the values of I2 and I3. That is solving equation 2 and 3 we get Let me use calculator directly. Keep calculator in equation mode. 
so here we have two unknowns so choose the first option so here a b is with respect to i2 and i3 c is with respect to this value so for a means coefficient of i2 that is minus 0 0.375 minus 0 0.375 plus equal now coefficient of b b means coefficient of i3 that is minus 0 0.625 minus 0 0.625 plus equal c means this value minus 10 minus 10 plus equal now it will ask the coefficients of second equation now let me go to the second equation coefficient of i2 is 12 plus equal b is nothing but coefficient of i3 that is minus 3 then this value is 50 plus equal plus equal again so I2 is 7.10, I2 is 7.10 amp and I3 is equal to, we have 11.73, 11.73 amp. So already I1 is calculated, that is I1 is equal to 10 amp. So these are the required result that is i1 is 10 amp i2 is 7.10 amp i3 is 11.73 amp thus we have solved for i1 i2 i3 using loop analysis thank you for watching